Hello, today I would like to present you this absolutely beautiful vintage calculator made by Bulgarian company. That model was dedicated for like accounting office, tax office, and because of that it have got a quite interesting way of typing numbers and subtracting them and adding that you can find on any regular calculator. As you can see, we do not have any LCD screen, we do not have any display, and the only way to see our results and our operation is to use paper like this, and it is a regular paper, it is not a thermal paper. We've got a wheel with characters with a lot of digits and different like operations sign and we are using a real ribbon and what's most interesting it's divided into two colors and the red one is going to be used on the negative values let's start from our printer because this is like the most interesting part i'm not sure if you can see that but we've got lot of different digits on that wheel that are going to be spinning to get correct location and then they are going to be transferred via a ribbon onto the paper so we are going to get like electromagnet that is going to be punching let's remove that part and you are doing it as a part of regular service and over there you've got like a ink ribbon that is two colors we've got a black and we've got a red one so as you can see this is how it presents absolutely beautiful it gives you a vibe of a real vintage typewriter it's giving exactly the same sound because it's going to be punching those digits those numbers into a real paper this is vintage stuff at least 40 years old but as you can see we've got a regular computer style socket and you can use modern cable on other side we've got a power switch here we've got a guide that are going to be used to hold that paper on that side we've got nothing here we've got our keypad and here is back sadly the plate is missing here we've got uh, information that it is a uh, 220 volts we've got some kind of fuses and this is how it presents we can try to turn it on we can try to feed paper and see if it's working I change angle so you are going to get a better picture we are going to turn our calculator on as and as you can see it was trying to feed paper but do not worry we've got a red button called PF and that's most likely stand for paper feed we are going to grab our paper and we are going to direct it like this and press the button and it should start pulling it as you can see it's going out we have to make sure that it's being guided after those teeth that are being used to tear it apart so let's make sure it's nicely go like that and now let's try to tear that apart and we've got absolutely beautiful tearing point let's go into the genuine location so you've got a nice view we've got our power indicator we've got like a ovf i'm pretty sure that stands for overflow and the memory recall we've got ability to select the rounding way do we want to run up or down and our floating point most likely that was used for like a accounting reason so it is quite interesting way let's turn our device on and off 
and this is what you are going to see after cycling it we've got a nice zero and we are ready to begin with our operations first let's start from something extremely simple like multiplying let's go with a five times five and we can use the equal sign to get our result and we've got 25 just like expected we can erase the memory by pressing a button c and we can repeat that we can go with 100 times 5 and the expected result is going to be 500 and this is exactly what we've got one of the most amazing feature of that device is a keyboard each key we've got a small magnet and while you are pressing it it's getting closer to a contact switch that is magnetic and they are shorting together and the the contact switch is enclosed in a glass tube so basically it will work forever absolutely beautiful job and you would expect that from device without screen because you have to be a 100% sure that each your key press is being recognized correctly. So it is a beauty 40 years old at least and it is a 100% good without any need to clean a contacts. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Multiplying was extremely easy. Let's try dividing. Let me erase the memory. And let's try divide 50 by 10 and let's see what's going to happen. We are going to press the our sum button and we've got 5 just like we would expect. Since it is a counting calculator each digit while subtracting or adding need to have a sign, it is quite different from what you can usually found and I'm going to show you the not proper way how to add so you can see let's imagine that I would like to add 5 plus 5 5 plus 5 and what you would do on any other calculator is that you are going to press your sum but as you can see we've got a totally wrong result so what's happened here i'm going to press c to make sure that we are erased and let add our 5 plus 5 so we hit 5 and we use the plus sign and as you can see on our operation list we've got 5 plus and now i'm going to add another number 5 with a plus leading sign and as you can see we've got our another operation that is stored in memory and now if i press the equal sign we've got our 10 and this is how you do it so let me erase that let's try to do that again so we go 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus those are operations that are going to be executed. We hit equal sign and we've got 20, just like we would expect. Now let me show you subtracting. We are going to put our digits, so for example 15, and we are going to hit a plus. And now we are going to hit 5 with a negative sign those are operations that are going to be done in the memory we are going to hit the equal and as you can see we've got a positive result just like we would expect let's repeat that process with a different value so let me feed the paper so you will be able to see that very nicely and now we can repeat that operation so just imagine that we are doing a counting. We can put a 15 with a negative sign. And now we can put 5 with a positive sign. And if we press equal, we are going to get negative 10. 
and as you can see we've got our negative 10 just like that and it's being marked by red it is absolutely a beautiful piece of technology for example the lady in the accounting office can go with a list of different operations that are going to be happening and you can go with like a 20 plus 50 plus 60 negative 50 plus you've got those operation you hit the equal and you know what's happened and i'm not sure if we make that correctly let's see did it calculate it correctly so we go with a 20 plus 50 minus 60 plus 50 and the result is 60 and that looks like a match to me so the device is operational <laughs> that was funny and yeah this is how it presents so for your regular operation you've got absolutely no problem in just multiplying those values and you've got a correct result here you can take a look at the quality of the printout and in my personal opinion that looks absolutely beautiful so that was extremely quick look at our vintage bulgarian calculator thank you very much for watching i hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye bye